Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to get a, uh, a couple Neo Diamond Magnets out of CD-ROM drives. And this is just a generic CD-ROM drive. And uh, I'm going to show you how to take them apart and get to the, the little little Neo Diamond Magnets that are in it. These uh, CD-ROM drives are pretty uh, worthless now, so you can find them in any uh, recycle piles and stuff like that. So first off, going to get to get a decent bit. That one was not it. Get the back cover off. Back cover off. Piece of plastic protecting. Now we gotta get the front cover off. And we'll probably have to eject the drawer to do that. So have your paper clip handy. Poke it like that. Our front cover's coming off. Get the clip here. One more clip here. Under a sticker. Quality control sticker. There we go. So our little magnets are right in here. So we gotta get this back cover off. Here's a block of Allison Cage. Looks like we got a couple clips here. Couple more on the other side. Yeah, our little magnets are going to be right inside this thing here. That's the laser. And like I said, this is going to be a trash, so it really doesn't matter what we do with any of this stuff. Dirty in there. See how dirty it is. Anyway, our uh, magnet's going to be right inside this piece right here. So we just got to get our board off. And uh, all of these are different. So you know, I took them apart. Uh, I don't know how many, and then it's still uh, a new one every time. Like I said, this is a generic one. And it says before, this is not, this is going to be trashed. This uh, board might be recyclable. So I'm going to save it in my recycle pile. You can actually get a couple dollars for that. So we'll just take out all these screws.
I'm just going to take out all the screws that hold this together so we can get to our part we're looking at. These could be used in your projects, you know, little inventions. We're almost there. Ah, uh, now this is where they are. Let's rip that off of there. Okay, so we just gotta get this piece of plastic off like that. And right inside here is gonna be our magnets. See? One there, one there. So basically we just gotta get rid of this laser. Yeah, our two magnets are exposed. Yeah, they've gotten smaller over the years. This one, this uh, CD-ROM drive's from 1998. Imagine. That's like a, almost a first generation. So anyway, these are the bigger ones than the older ones. So we're just gonna get our needle nose and pull them right out of there. Normally, uh, they should only be glued on. So we just have to just. Get them a good twist, if you can get them. Let's see if we can get this other one off. that twist right off twist it right off and just basically glue it on there see how it was glued on Anyway, there you go. Two neodymium magnets. Pretty strong, but not as strong as current ones. So, you know, the newer ones have there's about half of this size, and they're stronger. This CD ROM's almost 20 years old. And that's it. That's how you get neodymium magnets from a uh, CD-ROM drive. Glad to have you watching. And uh, look forward to my next video. And check out my other video how I get see these neodymium magnets out of uh, hard, hard drives. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Now, after you get your magnets out, there's still some other stuff you can get out of here. Like the little motors and the screws. So, you know, before you just throw it in the trash, you know. It's a nice screw, look, nice screw there. Now it'll probably fit on somebody's eyeglasses, maybe. And if you like this, uh, screwdriver set I'm using. This is the Jackley. Check out my other video. I, I have a video about this. Nice tool.
Anyway, the, uh, you know, the screwdrivers fit the screws real well. You can see there's more, uh, this is a real fine Phillips. I'm going to switch to a different one for another screw here. Heavier. This handle's really nice. Spinning head here. Kind of rough on things. Well, anyway, you know, just take the rest take of the out of your new screwdriver set. And enjoy.